guys Jamie here. So I've been asked a lot of questions about the uh, Hypertherm Plasma Torch. Uh, I've got the uh, Hypertherm uh, uh, 30 Air, Powermax 30 Air. And uh, one of the most common questions is basically, will it cut anything thick? Like everybody seems to think it'll only cut thin material. Um, here's the machine right here. I've got it out on the floor here. Um, I'm running it on 220. You can run it on 110 as well, of course, but I don't have the uh, 15 amp breakers needed for the, uh, uh, I believe that's what it is. I, my breakers are too small to run uh, the 110. Um, so anyways, uh, I'll take a little piece of steel here like this, and uh, this seems fairly thin. Let's, let's see actually how thick is it. Uh, let's put you guys down for a second here. So that is about an eighth thick. It's about an eighth. So let's see, should be able to cut this like nothing. So the uh, material here, as you can see, I've got a bunch of materials. I've got uh, the plate right here. Um, I've got uh, this uh, piece of uh, HSS, big chunk. Um, I've cut up a fair bit. Um, I've got this. I I think that was quarter inch. Uh, that's just another piece of the same stuff there. And then I've got this, uh, I sh should be half inch, but we'll measure it. Um, so I'll put on my uh, safety glasses here. Okay, we are ready to go. So let's see. I'm gonna try to hold you guys and cut at the same time. So it's not going to be the straightest cut, probably. So I went a little bit too fast the uh, first go there. Um, now it wasn't the straightest cut either. Um, I could, uh, like I mean, if I had just gone the proper speed, it would have been perfectly fine, cut it off, right off quick. Um, anyways, let's toss that aside. And let's see, let's see how thick this piece is. So this measures to be, measures to be quarter inch. So hopefully you guys can see that, it's quarter inch thick. So I'm going to try to not hold you guys this time and see if I can cut this a little easier. And it's got that uh, slag on there, watch. Uh, there we go. There, the slag is gone. 
Got a nice smooth service. And fairly straight cut too for being freehand. Now one thing I'm going to mention here is that uh, people seem to get confused. This is not a drag tip on here. And it's actually uh, again fairly worn because I've used it a lot. So it's, it's still cutting amazingly well for even being fairly worn here. Um, this is not a drag tip. This is meant to be held about that far from the surface. Hopefully you guys can see that. Right about there. A drag tip, you would literally drag it along the surface. Um, so a drag tip you can get for this, I just don't have that because uh, I find that I'm able to be more precise with this. So that was quarter inch. Um, I'm going to turn the machine up a little bit. Let's see where it's at here. So the machine is at only about 25 amps and it could go to 30. So let's turn it up. We'll go about we'll go about halfway in between right there. So now what's left here is uh I think that's half inch. So I'm gonna put it up on the table here and then we'll measure it. Okay, so let's see here. Yep, that is half inch. And on the uh, end here, you can see this has been cut with a settling torch. Fairly rough, ugly cut. So let's uh, get ready here. Okay, I got both gloves on now. Doing this the proper way. And I'm gonna put the uh, ground clamp actually on the material. That's how it's supposed to be. It, it seems to, it actually seems to connect fairly well. Even though it, this is rusty, it still seems to get a connection through it. It's kind of surprising. Okay, let's, let's cut the corner off here. slightly too fast here. So you can see I went a little bit too fast. I didn't have it on its max setting, but went a little bit too fast. And I was on a fair bit of an angle, as you can see here. I wasn't holding it straight up and down. So if I had held it straight up and down, that would have made it a lot easier, quicker to go through because going sideways, I've gone through it as if it were thicker material. Um, so anyways, as you can see though, that cut, I don't want to touch it free hot, um, is actually really smooth. And compared to the uh, acetylene torch here is quite rough. Now this is freehand and that's a pretty smooth cut. Um, yeah, pretty hot still. See the, uh, see this piece here? You can see it's just as smooth of a cut. Now, like I said, if I had gone straight up and down there, it would have gone through it the first time, sure, because I, I was going sideways and it was making it so it's a thicker cut. But this is half inch steel, 
no problem. Nice and smooth. A little bit wavy, but it's not jagged. Now, something that I could have done as well is I could have taken this piece here and used it as a straight edge and guided it along here to make it a completely straight cut. So as you can hear with the machine, it's got the uh, fan running on it. It's uh, still, it's just cooling down. I always let it completely do that till it shuts itself off before I unplug it. That was a fairly good sized chunk. Now, as another test before we uh, say we're done here, I'm just gonna put this down for a second here. Um, see, it's, it's not even that warm. Until I get right close to it, then it's fairly hot. Whereas the sailing torch would probably be cooking hot right about here, like halfway across it. So we put that down. Now, let's take a look here. This is very dirty, rusty. It's got uh, paint on it. Um, a little bit of chalk, it looks like right there. Well, Let's uh, take the torch here and see if we can cut a piece along right here. I think we'll we'll do this right here. See if we can just cut that off while it's nice and gross looking. The uh, as you can see the ground clamp here. It's it looks like it's got a pretty mediocre uh, connection on there. So let's see how well it does. We'll turn this. Put you guys right there. Hopefully, you got a good view of it. Uh, we can move this slightly here. There we go. Should be a good view. Again, that was a freehand cut as you guys saw and it doesn't look half bad actually whereas it will hold it stable here it's somewhat straight it doesn't look too jagged um, let's uh, grab grab this guy right here I'll just chip the slag away here There, most of the slag is gone now, and we've got a fairly straight edge right here. Over here is pretty jumpy because I wasn't able to hold my hand very steady. I was kind of holding like the wand in the air just kind of freely there, and my hand was a little shaky, so it's a little jagged there. But for right here, it's where I was able to hold it good, it's not bad at all. 
So anyways, that's the uh, video. I hope that that uh, shows you guys what this thing is capable of doing. It could obviously cut thicker than a half inch, but like, I mean, realistically, what are you cutting that's thicker than half inch? Probably not, not much. Um, I have cut before uh, three quarter inch with it and uh, it handled that no problem. Um, and yeah, it was not on its max setting as you can see still, still not on the max setting. All right, I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Thank you.